Good, Good morning, morning Bulldogs. Bulldogs. For our special announcements, the boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check out the announcements for their sign-up link and volunteer today. Grant is hosting a two-day Writers Expo in April, and we are looking for students interested in showcasing their work. This could be anything from a short story to a song and everything in between. So if you have writing you want to share, reach out to Ms. Jones in the curriculum office or talk to your English teacher about getting signed up. For clubs and activities, you have books? Support the Freshman Class Council by donating books for Bernie's Book Drive. We are looking for books for children ages 1 through 12 and will be collecting donations through April 3rd. Donations can be dropped off at the Grant Library or the bookstore. For every book donated, you will receive one raffle ticket. Raffle tickets can be used to earn prizes such as gift cards and a donut party. Email Mrs. Barker or Ms. Weaver with any questions. For athletics, girls soccer took on Richmond Burton for their season opener, and varsity finished the match with a tie. Ryan Cadlick broke the ice with our first goal, followed by Giselle morales Cobain. Lacrosse opened their season with a win over Crystal Lake South. Matthew Wormowski and Tyler Fleming worked hard to get points on the board as Pride Mendoza dominated the full field and Jack Henry shut out the Gators in the second half. Badminton opened in Elgin High School over the weekend and brought home multiple champions. Congratulations to our doubles team made up of Vanessa Pendle and Alyssa Song, Reagan Wagner and Angela Martinez, and to Laura Jimenez for earning first in singles. This week, they went up against Zion Benton. Varsity took down the ZBs 12-3 and JV won 13-2. Boys Volleyball traveled to Lake Zurich for their season opener. Varsity fought hard but fell a few points short of the win. On Wednesday, the program traveled to Huntley and our JV and varsity teams both brought up wins. Baseball took on Woodstock North and came away with another varsity win. Not only did they add another win to their record, but they also shut out the Thunderbirds. Keep it up, Bulldogs. Spring may have just started, but cheer is already prepping for the fall. If you are interested in joining the co-ed legacy, check out their April and May open gyms before tryouts start on May 10th. For more information about their upcoming open gyms, follow Grant Cheer on X and Instagram. <laughs> Macri Sukulich has been making a name for himself in the wheelchair basketball, and this year he's heading to National Wheelchair Basketball Association Junior Nationals. Macri plays for Wisconsin Marquette Junior Golden Eagles and has been busier than ever. Over the next couple of weeks, Macri and his team will prepare for Junior, na junior Nationals as they are set to compete against some of the toughest teams around. His team is currently ranked 13 in the country and seeing will be announced on March 25th. Bracket play is scheduled to begin on April 5th. Check out NWBA's basketball for seating information and make sure to wish Macri the best of luck before he leaves on April 4th. Today, lacrosse is hosting with Henry. Over spring break, softball is heading to Tennessee for a tournament. Baseball is taking on multiple schools and boys tennis has a quad in Rockford. Good luck to our Bulldogs competing this weekend and over spring break. You got this. For student services, hey seniors, did you receive a scholarship or award not including the Grand Community Scholarships? Then send Mr. Schrader an email by April 19th with details about your scholarship so we can highlight your accomplishments leading up to graduation. Are you interested in taking the ASVAB this spring? ASVAB stands for Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery and is required testing to enter the military, but is also an excellent career assessment to explore future career options. Test scores are not shared with the military, but only shared with you and your school counselor. The test will be given on Thursday, April 18th from 3.10 to 6.30 p.m. Check the daily announcements for the sign-up link in more details. For the College and Career Center, we have several college reps scheduled to visit us next month. When we come back from spring break, Northern Arizona University, Eastern Illinois University, and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln will be here on Wednesday. National Lewis University, Northern Michigan University, and Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, will be on campus on Thursday. Check out the College and Career Center for a full list of college rep visits and sign up in Squire to attend. This week's career highlight is all about chiropractors. Did you know the average salary for chiropractors is around $75,000 and the field is projected to grow by 9%. If you are interested in becoming a chiropractor and need help with post high school planning, reach out to Mrs. Missouri. Before we sign off, we wanted to remind you that we are off next week for spring break. After today, we will see you all back in the building on Monday, April 1st. And no, that's not a joke. <laughs> Also, we are getting closer to the third quarter Bulldog Buck drawing. Juniors and seniors, this means free prom tickets will be up for grabs soon. 
Keep an eye on the TVs for more information on the drawing and remember that every Bulldog Buck turn in this year will be included in the drawing too. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day, enjoy your spring break, and remember to keep it red, Bulldogs.